Hello, welcome to episode 13 of my 100% Lilith playthrough. On today's episode, we're going to finally get to the main story. That's right, third episode I'm saying it, but this time it's true. Look, we're even going there right now. See the waypoint? I'm not lying to you guys. We managed to complete everything else in the game except for the Underdome DLC. We haven't done that on this playthrough yet, but I'm going to save that for playthrough too since the enemies all scale to your level anyways, and I really would like to put that off as long as possible. That also gives me a little bit of time to stockpile weaponry of various types so I can complete different challenges. I've double, triple checked to make sure we've gotten every single SDU for playthrough one. If I've somehow missed one, then um, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I've been pretty diligent about it. I got 13 out of 20 right now. The other seven we get in playthrough two. I forget exactly which ones at the beginning of the story you read only farm, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not sure what happened there, but I kept crashing every time I tried to load into this place. I got a comment the other day talking about a memory leak in Borderlands 1, and they said I was affected by it, and I don't really know a whole lot about that, but I figured I'd uh, take their word for it, you know, and I looked into it, and yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. There's a memory leak for the Enhanced Edition. Joltz Dude actually tweeted out a fix for it. Joltz Dude said that you should disable movie startup on Steam. So you go into Steam and you, like, type in a command so that it disables the movie startup. And for some reason, that was making it impossible for me to load into this place. So thanks, Joltz Dude 139 you ruined my day. I mean, I could stay here and I could fight all these guardians, but I don't even know if it'd get me anything at this point. Since I'm so over leveled, I can't imagine the weapon proficiency XP is any good. All right, all done with that. Now we can head into the main meet, you know, the big boy zone. <sighs> I'm quite familiar with this place. Gonna be spending a lot of time here, I have a feeling. Not this playthrough, uh, thankfully. We're gonna have to do that on the second playthrough, but... It's coming. Since I'm a 10 to 12 levels over everything, it really doesn't matter that much what I use. I get to use my weapon of choice. Really not much to talk about when you're comically over leveled like this. I have been slapping guardians with this masher and I've yet to see our revolver proficiency go up at all. So I feel like these guys are giving us just nothing. Maybe I'm just missing it, but I find that a little bit unlikely. I don't know why I'm checking these weapon stashes. If we end up getting something good, I'm just going to be disappointed that it's not a decent level. Hmm. Well, it's not really something good, but it's something. Okay, everybody, this is it. All this blood, sweat, and tears, and we're almost halfway done. Well, no, not not even close to halfway. We're, we're almost done with the first playthrough, so let's get it. Let's lampoon this tentacle beast. Behold! Oh, he's only level 33. What the hell? Well, oh, Jesus. Okay, let's see. I get the double anarchy out. Now, place your bets in the comments below. How many mags from the double anarchy will it take to kill the destroyer? One two, three, or more. Let's see. Okay, that was one, two, it was more than three. Wow. How about that, everybody? I can't, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest. There he goes. You guys see that right there? Executive producers. That's him. That's Randy right there. He's the one that's done this to us. All right, now that's over. We get a good amount of underleveled loot. So let's hope we get some really bad shit. That way I don't get sad. Oh, wait, it's on level. Level 44 Silent Night. Well, how about that? I guess I'll take that. Oh, level 28 cannon. Wait a minute. And no, only the legendary is on level. Well, it could be worse. At least the legendary was on level, so I'll take it. Anyway, that's everything for the first playthrough. Well, I guess not everything just yet. We have to go turn this mission into Tannis. Okay, Tannis. I've waited very long for this moment. That's it. Oh, Tannis. I love you so much. Now we gotta talk about our plans going forward. If you remember from the first episode, or if you've read the description, I said I'm going to complete every single mission on both playthroughs, and I'm still doing that. I, absolutely, I'm going to do that. But the thing is, I don't think it's going to be as entertaining to watch every single mission get played over again. So I'm probably going to gloss over the missions a little bit more this time around. Anyways, other than the missions, we also are going to have to start collecting all of our unique weapons because that's another goal that some people might not know of. I only mentioned it in another episode, and if you haven't read the description, you might not know. But I do want to collect every single unique weapon in the game. So I've made a list, an Excel sheet, if you will, of all the unique weapons I want to get and I can mark them off as I go down. I'll probably show that on the screen as we collect them so you guys can also see how we're doing on those. With any luck, I won't miss any and it'll go pretty smoothly. I don't want to talk about it so much really, you know, things will happen, mistakes might happen, but I'm going to do the very best I can. Anyways, I think that was enough chit chat, so let's get started on playthrough two right now. Oh man, I'm happy to see this place, guys. There's something exceedingly nostalgic and amazingly freeing about being here at the start of a new Borderlands playthrough, even if I do know what awaits me. You already know why we're coming over here. Do I have a need to say it at this point? Underwhelming as usual. 
I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, yeah, I'd say we definitely need to change up our character for the beginning of the second playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to whip something together, but you know me, I basically just make some sort of hideous abomination and say, yeah, that's all I could do, which is what I'm gonna do this time. All right, this time I went for a bit of a special one. This one's not terrible or ugly. This is a memorial. This is an ode to Hank. If you don't know who Hank is, then why don't you just click off the video right now? We've got the macaroni hat. We got the black coloration. We're doing our very best to represent what Hank was at the very last moments of his life. A man far too gone. God, why do we have to kill him? Okay, well that's that. Oh no! Newly licensed teenagers! Alright, how over leveled are we all? Yep, 12 levels over. Okay, well this is gonna be a hoot and a holler, I can tell. Well, when you're this over leveled, there's only one thing to do. Use the Iridians. Got quite the line up here. Got the Iridian Lightning, which is a sniper, then obviously the Thunderstorm, our Mercurial Blaster, and then the Iridian Rifle. Can't expect too much from them, but when the enemies are this low, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But we might actually be overleveled for this entire second playthrough. Matter of fact, we will be overleveled for the entire second playthrough. Yeah, until we beat the Destroyer the second time around, basically everything is going to be child's play. It is strictly a game of mental fortitude, ladies and gentlemen. One I intend to win. This is the Mercurial Blaster, right? You're telling me this one-shots him? That's how bad it is, guys. This Mercurial Blaster that shoots like this one-shots these enemies in the head. Now, the second mission of playthrough 2. You might think this is the first mission, but actually the first mission is fresh off the bus. I love you, Zed. I love your voice. I love everything about you. You're hot. You're, you're um, sexy. Oh, my goodness. They already had the toy car. All along. It's been here all along. It wasn't introduced in Marcus's gift shop. It's right here. However, I do think the one in Marcus's gift shop has an additional spoiler on the back there and another one of these bandit tarps. You see it frolicking in the wind there. Man, that's so crazy. I, I can't believe I've looked at this so many times I never realized it was a fucking radio with wheels. But that. If you don't, in case you don't believe me, there's the radio. There's the radio with wheels. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the damn quest in already, and now we've got to do these three or four quests around Firestone that take about two minutes in total and mean absolutely nothing, so I'll just knock these out real quick and get back to you. Just want to interrupt to say I figured out how to do the um, Lilith phase jump, and it's very nice. I, I do recommend the Lilith phase jump. I made record time getting all those missions done. Now we get to go meet TK Baja, man. I can't wait to see him again. Oh, we leveled up again already. Well, I guess we gotta spend another skill point. Let's think about what we want here. Didn't have to think very hard. I forgot the only reason I was even specking into this tree in the first place was for this skill right here. We're gonna have a 15 second reduction on our phase walk by the time we get that one maxed. You know, I never realized this. But TK Baja has scratches on his goggles right there that line up with the scratches from the scars on his face. So does that mean he was wearing these goggles when he was attacked and he just left them? Or did he like carve the scars into the eyes himself to show that's what happened? I feel like that's probably what happened. Fascinating, that's some great symbolism right there, TK. Now it's time to get the fabled TK Baja mystery meat. Looks a little less appetizing after all it's been through. Interesting, what is that supposed to mean? Getting dragged through the dirt by the skags, but why haven't they eaten it? Well here, TK, you can have your meat-shaped diarrhea back. Oh my god, his whole head melted away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Guess that's what happened. What the fuck happened to you, man? All I did was electrocute you. Time to go kill nine toes already. That was, that was too quick. Bada boom. And into Sky Gully we go. Nothing for us to do in Sky Gully yet in terms of side missions, so all we gotta do is beeline it to nine toes and get him down. I think we actually get one of our first unique weapons up here, though. The Lady Finger. Alright, let's shake up Lady TK. There she is, the lady finger. Omnia vincit amor. What does that mean? Is that Latin or uh, French? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna look that up right now. Omnia vincit amor means love conquers all. What a wonderful message. Go ahead and save that and I'll check that on the list. The weakness of the Iridians really shows when I start to melee the enemies and you realize that's what the Iridian does. And that's what the palm of my hand does. So, you know. In terms of damage, I think the palm of my hand has the Iridians beat. I wonder if Nine Toes will prove to be any challenge using only Iridians. Something tells me probably not, but hey, don't write him out, you know, he does have three balls. See? Uh-oh, Nine Toes, not looking good for you. Well, there's one Mercurial Blaster, switch to the other one. Yep, that's a dead Nine Toes. Even his poor dogs can't withstand the Mercurial Blaster. Here we actually have another unique weapon, the Clipper. Don't drop it might lose a toe. Well, that's pretty funny. You know what might be funnier? If they said, don't drop it, 
might grow a ball. No, that wouldn't be funny. Look at this fucking rocket launcher. That thing's seen better days, hasn't it? Thing is rusted to shit. When I first opened it, you know, I was standing back a little bit. I was like, oh, that thing have like camouflage on it? No, it's just fucking rusted to fuck. It's like everything else this dude owns, evidently. No more nine toes. And now let's get our literally nothing from Zed. Now we get to unlock the bounty board. Oh, nice. An explosive Merv. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Zed. And now here we are at the bounty board. Got two right now, just these ones. They're not really side missions. Both of them just start side missions. Since we're so over leveled, I'm just gonna kill Bonehead right now since he's right here. Okay, Bonehead, I'm counting on you. What do you got for me? Better put up a fight. Yeah, he's fucking just disappearing before my very eyes. There he goes. 10.8 fire rate. Not too bad on the fire rate, but there's no ammo regen there, so it's nothing that interests me. Thank you very much. Hawk TK, get a couple of our side quests. Now we'll go do these two plus the why are they here mission. I'm gonna snag blood on the tires and hidden journal while I'm here just to get those done on my way to doing everything else. I managed to get one more grenade out of a skag pile. I'm gonna try right here. I feel like I might be able to just jump up. Uh oh, went through the rock. Well, wait a minute. Well, pro tip everybody, you don't even need a grenade jump. If you want to go up here quick, just come on up, hop on this rock, and you jump yourself right on. Oh, wait, one second. Get a sprint jump, and you jump yourself right on up. You know, it's just kind of that easy. I'm ashamed I didn't know about that sooner, if I'm quite honest with you. There's another one. All right, time to pay Scar a little visit. Hey, you remember TK Baja, motherfucker? I don't know who you think you are, but you ain't. Yeah, yeah, do it. Go ahead, knock me down. You fuck. Yeah, that's what you get. Not as long as your spirit rests in Valhalla, what you think about TK Baja. He did die in battle, so I am. I'm assuming his soul goes to Valhalla, you know. Seeing TK Baja's leg on the ground right here made me remember something. Skags, they can't digest things that aren't food. They can't digest inorganic matter, right? but they eat everything. So that's why they always have loot and shit like this, you know, like TK Baja's leg perfectly preserved in Scar's stomach since it wasn't food. So that begs the question, if skags eat everything and only spit out what is not edible, what is not food, then why were TK Baja's meat haunches laying on the ground? The skags would have eaten them, obviously. Like they ate a fucking grenade mod. They ate this fucking shocky square, right? So clearly the motherfuckers are going to eat the meat-shaped things, which are clearly not meat because they had to have spat them out after they ate them, meaning they are not organic. So, I mean, the plot really thickens. That's not even meat at all. It's not even mystery meat. It's just a mystery substance. Fuck, it's not food. Sorry for ranting about that for like five minutes, but I just need to get to the bottom of it. You know, it's been too long, far too long. Maybe I'll have to make a video, a deep dive on TK Baja's mystery substance. I don't even know what I'd include. You know, I need more. I need more to go off of, more data. This is the third badass corrosive skag in this fucking trench. I don't understand what it is with the badass corrosive skags, but they're really loving them today. I've already made it abundantly clear what I think about these blade flower seeds. I don't understand what the food part of them is. I can only assume it's some sort of grain that he grinds into a bread. Maybe TK Baha grows these blade flowers and he uses them to make some sort of plant-based soy-like protein that he morphs into the shape of meat and maybe that's what he eats but that still doesn't really explain the fact that skags are unable to digest oh that there's a guardian right there really really awful weapon i mean i can't even get excited over it. anyway like i was saying that still doesn't explain why skags can't eat it so maybe it's just that our human digestive systems have evolved so much at this point by eating processed food that we can now eat foods that other species can't process i mean that might even be the case today to be honest with you i don't know what would happen if you gave like a for example say like a gorilla a twinkie or maybe like a box of twinkies would that gorilla be able to digest that because it's not real food hey tk have your uh seeds and there's your foot, man. I hope it serves you well. This isn't the, I think it's a bulldog hybrid you can get with the wave. I think uh, the way you can tell is if it has like 20 something mags. So that is not 20 something mag. Turn a couple of these in real quick. Don't think they unlock anymore. No, they don't. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on, get the last couple of journals, jump the piss wash. Did you just leave all the piss wash with all your one of my runners? Door open. Come back to Zed so he can give us uh, this fucking thing. Jesus Christ, Zed. Shot crystal harvest. Doesn't really matter when we do these because, uh, like I said, we're way over leveled. So get the hidden journals and then go get everything from ship. Also, I forgot to mention it, but the TK's wave, uh, that's a unique weapon. So I'll mark that down on the list as well. Here's Shep. You guys already know what I think of Shep, the backstab and traitorous bastard. Get everything he's got. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's our third and final turbine break. Turn our sledge mission to this here scribbled note on the table for some reason. And now we can snag the key. Only one more thing to do over here right now, and that is snag the last journal. There it is, the last journal. You know, Shep, I don't really want your filthy, dirty, shit white money, but 
you know, I'll take it. Now shit starts to hit the fan, turn that in. We got a few more missions, Mo and Marley, Scavenger Sniper Rifle, and the Meet and Greet. So I'll probably get every single mission done in the Arid Badlands that I can right now. That way I just kind of do everything as I go and it's a little bit simpler. As a rule, I like to check the weapon shop here before I do the arena. I think it all stems from a singular incident when I was just a wee lad. I went over there and I got myself my first ever masher. That's right, I tamed the first masher I ever used from that very vending machine. You can see why I revere it so. Time for round one, should be a cinch. They should all be a cinch, but especially this. Round two. For taking out alphas, the only thing that really does the trick in terms of Iridians is this here thunderstorm. All right, round three. Look at that, I got like four or five in one shot right there. This thunderstorm can put in some serious work. I mean, I know I'm way over leveled. I feel like you might be able to get it to do something similar if you make a build around it, you know, get the electric, the Tempest class mod. What am I doing? Oh my goodness, man. I, I need to switch to my Tempest class mod. Look at that, man. So nice. Oh, that was, that was money? What the hell was that? Was it like a fucking ball of skag feces? Another level up already. Yep, that's a bit ridiculous. Another point into hard to get. Even more phase walk reduction. Gotta love it. Basically, all that means for me is more speed. And more speed means more missions. And more missions means more good. Now for the shot crystal harvest. And we'll actually encounter our very first clap trap of the second playthrough in here. Which means we're gonna have to read only farm it. You know, I like sitting around with my dick in my hand as much as the next guy. But I think it's time to put in some work. That's right. The double anarchy. I didn't even have to say it. You already saw. These guys would quit running in circles for two seconds. What a fucking bunch of spastic fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep sending the alphas. Come on. More alphas. More alphas. Look at this, man. This is so stupid. I don't know why they gotta do this to you right here. Mm. Now, um... I'm no expert, but if I had to wager, that wasn't there before we killed these here skags. Another world drop bulldog. But this time, not from a midget, not from an enemy that spawns with a shotgun and drops it. Because that's like a little bit different, I feel. If I could describe this hunter's bulldog in one word, it would be underwhelming. Look at this guy. What the hell are you doing? Grab this claptrap mission. I've been mindlessly tunneling through this bandits with this double anarchy for so long, my brain's starting to shut off. I just had to start manually blinking and breathing. Got the repair kit, I'm gonna head over here and kill all these alpha skags just to assert dominance and also maybe get something out of the weapon stashes. And that was all for nothing. Oh, perfect. Our game is saving right there in the top left, so that is gonna be the save I'll use for read-only farming this. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my save over to read-only right now. Well, didn't work the first run, now I gotta save, quit, try again. Nope, nothing on the second run, save, quit, nope, try again. There it is, on the fourth run, not too bad at all. I'm gonna take my save off read-only right now so I don't forget. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing, it would mean a lot to me. Managed to complete 32 missions this episode, which is pretty impressive, I didn't realize we got through that many. That brings our total up to 243 out of 432 missions. I thought I'd take a peek at the challenge log since it's been a while. You can see we're getting a lot of these done actually. A lot of gray there. More gray than orange I dare say. Looking quite good. But obviously the ones that aren't done are the only ones that really matter. On top of that there's our weapon proficiencies. Wow. Used the Iridians almost the whole episode and didn't even get one level in them. That is a shame. I guess being over leveled really ruins it. And also cannot forget our Claptrap SDU. We finally managed to get one this episode been a while so that would bring our total up to 14 out of 20 sdus no achievements this episode so that is everything once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next episode have a good one